This is why I never teach my clients to breathe into their belly. Join me for a close up with my friend Bone Jangles here and a quick anatomy lesson. One is as the rib cage is developed, the reason it's there is to protect a lot of the internal organs we have. If you remember from anatomy class, the lungs start up here and they reach all the way down to the inside parts of the rib. Now, when you're telling people to breathe into their belly, where you're telling them to breathe is an area that doesn't even have lungs. And listen, if you teach it, I'm not blaming you for it. I used to do it all the time as well. That's what I was taught. And you might also say, hey, but when I breathe into my belly, I do see my belly rise. Well, what that actually is, is that the diaphragm descends down, you actually get a pressure in the abdomen and it's pushing your guts out to the front. So it's not like you're growing lungs in your belly, you're actually pushing your guts out and protruding them out because that's what the pressure gradient is allowing to happen. Now, I'm not just pissed off for no reason. The reason why it's so important is because if you're directing airflow to the belly, you're actually robbing the rib cage of beautiful, beautiful movement. The rib cage is very joint rich and you wanna make sure you're getting a nice inhale and expansion through the rib cage and compression through the rib cage as you exhale. If you're breathing into the belly, that's not really happening as efficiently. So make sure you stop cueing, breathe into the belly.